So, like most people, I really like traveling. Taking the car and going places to discover forests or waterfalls or volcanoes, bridges in San Francisco or beaches in Hawaii, you name it. But most of the time, this is my reality. So I'm sitting at home and I also really enjoy painting miniatures. But from time to time, you kind of dream of going out to the nature. So I guess I'm not the only one who really likes this kind of view, but for us as lazy war gamers, we like to sit inside and never go out because we can't take our miniatures with us and the pile of shame gets bigger and bigger. So today I want to present you a really cool idea from Frontier Wargaming, the portable painting case, which pretty much solves exactly this problem. They provided me with one of the boxes and I took it to one of the trips with my friends to the mountains. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me to continue going out with my friends and painting miniatures. Obviously, I wasn't painting all the time and also hanging out with my friends, but here is video proof that we had the biggest fun <laughs> while I was painting. Okay, and now let's have a look at the box in detail. So, as you can see on the front side, they engraved the logo. So you can send them a file and they will engrave it for you. And the quality in general is really good. So you can see the finish of the outside is really nice. The minis are stored on extra holders. There are drawers and everything is, I think, 3D laser cutted. So it's really precise and for I think around 100 bucks, you get a really good quality product. It also comes with this strap, so you can hang it around, but as you can see in the footage here, you can also take it off. So for the closing mechanism, they have really strong magnets, so you never have to worry that it accidentally opens. It's really safe and closes super well. And look at that beautiful chewy, does not look nice. <laughs> so in the inside, there are different drawers. I didn't take too much for that weekend, so it looks kind of empty, but one drawer was enough for me for all my paints. There were two to three other ones where I could have stored utensils or brushes or whatever, but I think for future vacations, I will probably pack additional minis in there. I'm traveling for a longer time, so I have some in stock. And yeah, these mini holders are actually quite handy. I've just used one part of the green stuff and didn't put it together as a component to fix the minis onto the holder. And I was pretty happy to find out that the red grass wet palette fits into it too. And obviously it's built in a modular way so you can kind of arrange everything the way you want it. So yeah, that's everything packed up. You can grab it and safe travels. So here I'm building it up. You can see how the lamp comes onto the top and it comes with a short cable, so I can really recommend getting a longer one. They also offer it on their Frontier Wargaming website, so I would definitely put that into the cart too. So yeah, here you can see me painting in different positions. This posture is definitely not the most ergonomic one with the hands on the table. So once I got older and my back started hurting, I really got used to putting my elbows onto the table because you just sit way more upright. And if you do that, the mini is right underneath the lamps. So I would say for a guy my size, which is 180, this is perfect from the size and the proportions of the suitcase, I would say, are really good. They're like a good mixture between big enough so you can store enough and high enough so that the lamp sits in a good position but also like still neat and portable. As an additional tip, during the weekend I noticed that water is the only problem because I was always filling up a water glass but after all I would recommend getting like a jar that you can seal so you can have the water stored inside too. So yeah, that was the review. People are saying goodbye. This is it. Let's pack everything up and go back home. So to sum it up, I think the product is really great and I love the idea. 
I will be definitely using it again when I'm traveling around, taking all of my minis with me with some paints and being able to paint even on the road. And like always, this could have been it, but life has some surprises left for me. Okay, actually, fun story. Unfortunately, my car broke down, so... These pieces actually belong together, and this just fell off out of the car. So I'm stuck here in some random town, middle of Austria, and I have to wait till tomorrow, because this is the workshop where they can repair my car, so I have to wait till tomorrow. And yeah, fortunately, I have my minis with me, so... Now I will be painting miniatures while waiting for yeah, the workshop guys to show up tomorrow. Yeah, let's let's paint some minis. I have my bed in the back side of my car so I can sleep here at night and pass the time with painting minis. looks quite prepared so probably no one will believe me who's passing by that I'm actually having a broken car that's what it is I'm actually really happy that I have my minis with me so I can actually paint something and don't have to just like sit here and wait make the best of this situation and have, have like a great surrounding with really nice mountains all around me but yeah still Painting minis is cooler. <laughs> So it's dark in the meantime and I'm in my camper and yeah, outside it's getting pretty dark now and I will show you how the light actually works since everything is dark around, the, the light seems even brighter. So yeah, let's, let's paint a little bit. So here you can see me having my horrible ergonomic posture again and then I kind of always realize what my back is doing. So yeah, here's also a little round view of my van. I think it's super cozy and it's just really fun putting on some audiobooks and then painting. If you're traveling alone, this is really, really nice. Okay, everything's fixed and the car is running again and I can go back home, have uh, four hours of drive in front of me, but everything worked out fine. It just cost me a thousand bucks. <laughs> this, so this is quite a strange feeling to spend so much money for an unexpected breakdown, but I guess that's what car breakdowns are usually always like. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that everything's all right and I'm going back home, so. Yay! <laughs>